Hi, I trust this finds you well. Hope you got through the week okay. Here's a thought for Parshat Bamidbar. Yesterday afternoon, our Bar Mitzvah boys gathered, as we do on our Bar Mitzvah preparation course, and we hosted a scribe, a sofer, who came to present to the boys and their dads all about the process of writing a Sefer Torah, of writing tefillin, of writing a mezuzah, really give them an insight into what goes on behind the scenes and all the different laws and the instruments used, the ink, the quill, and so on. One of the elements that the sofer emphasized to the boys is the fact that, yes, a sofer, a scribe, needs to be talented and skilled, steady hand, needs to be patient, needs to be knowledgeable. But there are two critical elements that a sofer has to have. Number one is honesty and integrity, that they're doing the right thing, even though nobody really is going to know if they're getting it all 100% correct. People have trust and faith in them, and they need to honor that. They need to be honest with themselves and honest with the people around them. And number two, the sofer has to sit down and write with intention. It's not enough just to write beautiful letters. The sofer has to have kavanah, has to have the correct focus and intention of why they're writing, what they're writing, for who they're writing. They're doing it for a mitzvah. And the question is why? Just write beautiful letters. Who cares what we're thinking about? And what the sofer was trying to instill in the boys is that in life it is so important to have intention. Don't just do things for the sake of doing things without even thinking about what you're doing. Do it with intention. Do it purposefully. It's a wonderful message. We see it in this week's parasha as well. When the Jewish people were wandering through the desert, they would take down the temple, the Mishkan, and then they would build it every time they would camp. Everything would come apart. And when they would travel, each part of the Mishkan, each part of the temple would be covered every article of furniture and so on, with a particular material used. When it came to the Aron, which housed the Torah, there were two covers. The regular cover made out of the Tachash material, and then a beautiful Techeles, a blue woven tapestry. And the commentary suggests why over the Aron was there this blue material. And the answer given was, beauty for beauty's sake is a, is a lovely thing. It's aesthetically pleasing. But when we look at the Aaron, we need to recognize, it needs to reflect the blue of heaven. What is the Aaron? What is the Torah? Why do we do what we do? Because beauty with purpose, beauty with intention, elevates everything that we do in our lives. And it makes it so much deeper. It makes it so much more meaningful. That is a wonderful lesson, both from the scribe and from this week's parasha. Whatever we do, let us do it with intention. Let us do it with purpose. Shabbat Shalom. Take care. And Am Yisrael Chai and a Chag Sameach for Shavuot.